Hey everybody! Today's video is about my trip to the Todaiji Temple in Nara city. This temple is known for its huge Buddha statue originating in the late 8th century. The statue is around 15 meters tall and is gilt bronze, meaning it's got gold finish to the surface. Also in the Todaiji compound is the beautiful Nigatsudo Hall with its iconic lanterns and the view from the terrace. In addition, I'll include some footage from the Katsugataishi shrine before finishing off by showing you the delicious wooden noodles I had. Yum. The Todai Temple is located right by the Nara Park, where there are so many ultra cute deer. They are wildlife and designated as a natural monument by the government, but they are also very friendly to us as they have been intimately interacting with us for over a millennium. The people in Nara have had a lot of respect for the deer. According to the legend, Takemi Kazuchi, one of the gods enshrined at Kasuga Taisha, which is also adjacent to the Nara Park, arrived here riding one of them. Therefore, since the foundation of the shrine in the 8th century, they have been considered sacred and protected accordingly in Nara. I got off the bus at the stop called Todaiji Daibutsuden slash Kasuga Taisha Mai, and I'm sorry about the long ass name, and I'm walking to the north towards the Nandaimon Gate of Todaiji. Nandaimon or the Great South Gate originates in the 8th century like the rest of the temple, but it was destroyed by a typhoon in the late 10th century. The structure standing today was completed in 1203 based on the style that was prevalent in the Song Dynasty in China at the time. After passing the Nandaimon, there's another stretch towards Chumon or the Middle Gate. And yes, the deer are everywhere. If you want to feed them, you must only feed the official deer treat available at the shops nearby. It's made from rice bran and without any sugar, so it's optimized for the deer's well-being. Feeding them anything else is prohibited. Remember, these creatures are a natural monument protected by the government. At the middle gate, you must pay for the ticket to see the Buddha statue, which is 600 yen and quite reasonable actually. There are also tickets for some of the other components of the temple, and I think they are all available at the ticket counter here. Having said that, if you're tight on budget like me, pay only for the statue, and then go check out the parts available for free, such as the Nigatsudo that I'll show you later. You are very welcome, my dear. That's the Daibutsuden containing the statue. This person is burning incense, I said hello to him and surprised the heck out of him, apparently. <laughs> From what I've read on the web, and I hope this is correct, the Daibutsuden at Todaiji is the world's largest wooden building by volume that has the traditional postum beam structure. Its current building is about 57 meters wide, 50 meters deep, and 48 meters tall. Its original structure, completed in 752, was even bigger and 88 meters wide. But it was destroyed by fire later, man. Destroyed not just once, but twice. Damn! Here we go inside the hall. Can you see the statue coming slowly out of the shadow from my camera? Also notice the signs of the person captured on the right side. For comparison, the head itself is 5 meters tall. Frankly, it looks mad now, and it must have been freaking mad in the 8th century. Sir, 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 who built all this shit? It was Emperor Shomu who wanted to bring peace to his nation that had been suffering from a political turmoil, a smallpox epidemic, and a rebellion in the short span of 10 years or so. Personally, I'm most intrigued by the smallpox epidemic that began in 735 and lasted two years. According to author William Wayne Farris, the epidemic might have killed as much as a quarter of the entire population in Japan at the time. Four important politicians as well as many others lost lives to the disease too, which forced the government to postpone some businesses. What we are seeing right now is the statue of Komokten, one of the four guardian gods in Buddhism. And this is another one of them called Tamonten. Tamonten is the Japanese name of the god of wealth in Hindu mythology called Vaishravana. I just spoke Sanskrit. In Japanese, it's also called Bishamonten. After leaving the statue, I walked around the Kagami Iki Pond and walked towards the Nigatsudo Hall. Nigatsu is February in Japanese. This hall is called Nigatsudo because they hold an annual event in February in the lunar calendar here. February in the lunar calendar is around March in the modern calendar. And the annual event called Shuni-e is held from March 1st to 14th nowadays. 
From the photos I see on the web, the nightly proceedings during this period involving torches must be amazing to watch. I feel like a complete loser having been there on the wrong days and not seeing it. That's so classic me, damn. I've just passed through the gate before the stairway to the hall. The standing stone poles you see here are to show thanks to those who donated funds to build this place. Each of them displays the amount of donation as well as the name of the donor. Yeah, you know, like, two billion dollars, massa! Oh man, these lanterns must look beautiful when lit at night. Nigatsudo is accessible 24 hours, so you can visit in the evening if you want to see the lights. Although, as you can see, the view from its terrace during the day is also wonderful. Lanterns are called Toro in Japanese, by the way. This one's at 10 a.m., and I'm facing the west, I think. Oh, there's the same woman I saw before the statue, remember? I recognize the down jacket in navy. No man, she wasn't with me or anything, unfortunately. I don't seem to get a girlfriend no matter what I do on Tinder, man. The hall originates in the 8th century, but it was, you guessed it, say with me, lost to a fire in the 17th century, after which it was rebuilt immediately. The Todaiji website says that Nigatsudo has great acoustics, that is, great acoustic inside, I guess. Somebody please book a live concert for me to play. Nah, I won't take any money, just hook me up with a girl so I don't have to get on Tinder again. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I ran out of stuff to say about Nigatsudo. Can I just be silly for a minute? I mean, I am silly, but can I be like deliberately silly and say something like, Oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, adorable, right? Deer groom each other for communication and to remove mites from their body. The bell tower stands in the middle between the Daibutsu Den and the Nigatsudo. It's huge bell, which is 3.86 meters tall and weighs 26.3 tons, is the original from the 8th century. It struck at 8 p.m. every day and is regarded as one of the three best bells in Japan. The current bell tower structure was built around 1210, and yes, there are deer here too. Todaiji is one of the most visited sites by junior high school students for their Shugaku Ryoko, or multi-day school trip, by the way. Okay, let's check out the Kasuga Taisho real quick. This is the main approach, or Omote Sando, which leads to the shrine compound. In 1998, Japan got a UNESCO World Heritage inscribed as Historic Monuments of Ancient Nara, which comprises eight sites including the Todaiji and the Kasuga Taisha, as well as the Kofukuji Temple that was a subject of my previous video. This is the central gate or Chumon, but you can't go through it as the main sanctuary is strictly off limits. You're not allowed to take photos through it either. But instead, you are entitled to perform a special worship with a fee of 500 yen, which allows you to kind of go around the sanctuary. Uh, I'll spare my time and yours by not going into details about this place. It is beautiful, but I find it a bit boring to be honest. If you want to check out historic sites near the Nara Park and your tight on schedule, do prioritize the Todaiji first and foremost. It will take about the same amount of time and energy to walk to Todaiji from the bus stop as the time and energy to the Kasuga Taisha and the 600 yen you will spend for Todaiji's Buddha statue is money better spent than the 500 yen you will spend at Kasuga Taisha. In my opinion anyway! And if you have some time left after Todaiji, check out the Kofukuji temple for free. That one looks interesting too and it's also closer to the city center so you won't miss your bus or train by mistake. There's a freaking Starbucks near Kofukuji too. Attention please, here comes the Fujinami no Ya Hall. Kasuga Taisha has around 3,000 lanterns that have been dedicated to it since the late 8th century. Of those, 2,000 are the stone lanterns that you put on the ground and 1,000 are the hanging lanterns, most of which are made of copper. Some of the hanging lanterns are lit in the darkness of this hall. To entertain me and you! Uh. When it comes to the lanterns made prior to the 14th century, a massive 60% of them are at Kasuga Taisha. And uh, I've run out of stuff to say about lanterns too, unfortunately. I guess I'll do some beats or something. I hope you don't mind. What? I thought it was dope. What, man? Wee! 
All right, finally some food. It's noodle porn, bitch. As I watch this footage, I'm actually getting the mouth water. I'm a slave to my dietary desire. Can't you see my last for fire? I randomly walked into a restaurant called Kasuya near the JR Nara station. It was right on the main street and easy to find. Plus, they had a toilet that I urgently had to use. But this turned out to be an excellent choice, as the Kasu Udon noodle bowl that they specialize in is such a unique delicacy. I mean, I've never had it in my entire life up to that point. Okay, first off, the basics about what udon noodles are. They are similar to ramen noodles, but they are thicker. And they are served in a bowl of soup, just like ramen, but the flavor of the soup is more based on fish rather than pork. Now, here's the twist of this particular restaurant, or restaurant chain rather, as they seem to operate in multiple cities. What they do differently is that they deep fry the chopped beef guts, yes the intestines, and use these flakes of flavorful fried meat as a topping for the noodles in soup. There are many variations to choose from the menu here, but the one I ordered was the doteni udon, which has stewed beef tendon. This was a great meal, also inexpensive, for just about 1100 yen. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on culture, travel, and music. Have a nice one. Bye.